can you tell us a little bit about how you think about budgeting for a tour? Well, first off, don't ever, my God, ever go on a tour where only a quarter of your shows are guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. We always, all our shows, like pretty like, much, we have all probably of our shows are guaranteed. Pretty close, like probably 95, 90, 95% would have a, some sort of guarantee. And if you're not getting a guarantee from like, uh, like the venue's not going to pay you, you know, X amount of dollars for playing that night and you're not certain about tickets, then get a percentage of the bar because then it puts the onus kind of on the artist to be like, Hey, make sure you tip your bartender, make sure you get as many drinks you can, blah, 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 whatever. But the, whatever place you're working, you know, find out, get a pretty good idea of what your base case pay is going to be anyway. And that, I mean, you got to kind of work that into a budget. I mean, we're not going to make a trip from Nashville to Denver, you know, for three weeks on that road and knowing that we're only going to make a guarantee of a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? I mean, like we are going to know pretty close to what we're going to make on that trip. Cause I mean, I'll figure be like everything like up. Like I'll, 6, I'll case, figure up yeah. everything that we're getting from base pay. And then you can get a pretty good idea, especially if you've played some of the venues before, like we play a lot of big breweries and stuff. 